on Langton's retreat tonight, I started by carving out the foam. This is the insulation board foam that was used to make the tunnel. It's all been stuck together in chunks, some large, some small. And now I'm carving them all out into one continuous piece. Sometimes I use the blade of the knife sideways as this roughens up the surface and gives it a really nice texture. When you're using knives, of course, be very careful. Don't blame me or anyone else involved with the making of this video if you hurt yourself with knives. Always be very careful and use common sense. And the speeded up footage, you can see me digging out chunks of foam, really carving away. Don't be afraid to do it. You could always stick a piece in again if you cut too much away. And now I'm having fun. I'm actually digging in and cutting out huge chunks, flicking it everywhere over the room. I had to do a lot of vacuum cleaning afterwards, but it was great fun. I really enjoyed carving away at this mountain side. And then I'm filling in any little gaps with white pink stuff or any sort of filler you could use or glue and then I'm putting foam off cuts on top of that to make it all a foam texture. Now here's my level crossing. I made some ramps out of balsa wood which I stuck some more paper road onto and then I've stuck those up to my track so the cars can now get across. So here are other people in the club helping me paint things. Quite a few of them helped me tonight. We've mixed up various greys to paint all of the foam grey. I'm even painting the bits we don't normally see so that when you do take the tunnel top off, the bottom of the tunnel top and the top of the tunnel bottom are grey and they're going to look nice and presentable. All the hillocks are painted and if you actually look underneath it quickly at the top of the tunnel you see that I've even sprayed it black where the steam of the locos has gone even though you won't normally see this. 